day, good morning friends. So good to see you, welcome back to the vlog on this I Sunday. I hope you're all good. Oh my days, I'm just out for a quick kind of 10 miles. It's just coming up to 9 a.m. Uh, because we're heading down to Cornwall later this morning for a week's holiday, which I'm so excited about. I cannot wait. So myself, Donna and Holly, and the four dogs are heading to Cornwall and um, staying in a cottage, which I cannot believe because every time we go to Cornwall, apart from once, in about the last 15 or so years, we've been camping. So we're going to the same place that we went to back in the summer. If, uh, if you caught those vlogs, we camped in the summer and it was amazing, but the, uh, the place where we were have a couple of cottages for hire. So myself and Holly um, paid for a cottage for Donna's birthday, which was at the end of October. So we're heading down there today. So I cannot wait, friends. The only thing is, I'm not gonna be able to take my bike because there's gonna be no spare room in the actual car for my front wheel. The bike will fit on top of the roof absolutely fine. But with the four dogs, the luggage, and uh, Donna and Holly in the car, it's just not gonna happen, <laughs> unfortunately. So that's a bit of a shame, but hey, I'm so lucky to be uh, to be going away for the week. I'm gonna take my running gear, so I'm gonna get in some running anyway. And the weather next week down in Cornwall is meant to be really nice, 14, 15 degrees and sunny. So, good times, my friends. When you played me that song Gave every word meaning You showed me a place we belong And we laughed and we danced and we never looked back We've had so much rain overnight and this morning, it is crazy. Morning. My alarm went off at six this morning. Yeah, my alarm went off at six o'clock this morning and it was absolutely hammering it down. By about eight o'clock, half seven, eight o'clock, it had finally stopped. And now look at it, it's just blue sky and beautiful. But it was like monsoon weather this morning and I was preparing to get on Zwift. I had a Zwift session last night, just did 12 miles. I'm kind of trying to find my mojo for Zwift at the moment. I'm sure as the winter kicks in, I'll get it back. But um, yeah, the opportunity to get out this morning was too good to miss. So I'm just out for 10 miles, about an hour. And I've got to get back, shower, change, and we're going to head down to Cornwall. So this evening, I will be doing a frosty cottage tour. <laughs> down in Cornwall, I'm so excited about that. So um, yeah, friends, I hope you're all good. I hope you're all having a fantastic weekend. What have you been up to? Have you managed to get out on the And bikes? if so, was the weather okay where you are? This is like a small window of opportunity for a ride this morning. And just so I can haul my sorry ass, up the leaderboard, up the FCC leaderboard, because I think I'm about 135th at the moment. So I'm gonna try and get 50 miles in for the week. I've just been so busy at work. I just had uh, not the opportunity, sort of the later stages of the week to get out on the bike, unfortunately. But hey, it is what it is. So I'm enjoying it while I can. Look at the colours on the trees, guys. 
absolutely beautiful the conditions out this morning are flipping awful so wet so many huge puddles and so many leaves on the road just makes it even more slick. so if you're out there today you legends just take it easy and stay safe out there I'm just coming up to doing six miles I remember that feeling you felt like home guys I just thought I'd pull over just to show you the state of my rear brake pads they are absolutely shocking I need to replace them I've got some spares in the shed in the shed of wonder I was meant to do it a few days ago but completely forgot and um, take a look at these bad boys I mean they literally are bad if you can see especially this side look I don't know if it's gonna focus but that is so worn right down to the last bit of rubber there's probably about a mil left on that pad and then this side it's a little bit better probably a couple of mils left on that side not as bad as the other side but shocking the front run my front one's okay which is a bonus um, so yeah need to replace those when I get back from holiday. Right, 7.6 miles done, I'm gonna crack on. Leaving you all alone. Cause we laughed and we danced and we never looked back. Nothing would get in our way. And you showed me the meaning of love and romance. Oh, I missed the song that you played. Okay friends, just a short spin on this Remembrance Sunday morning in the sunshine after the showers and before we head west. I will see you later with a travel update as we, uh, as we make our way to Cornwall. Just done 8.7 8 miles should be about 10 hopefully by the time I get back which is good right I'll see oh you a bit later guys we have arrived in Cornwall it is absolutely amazing what a place we're just kind of unloading the car and getting the dog settled in the cottage um, so we left at around 11.45 was hoping to go about 10.30 but um, just didn't happen which is um, pretty standard for the uh, frosty household um, so what's the time now it is 20 past four so we've been here about 20 minutes this is absolutely amazing I love it right take a look look at this cottage how beautiful is that the driveway is absolutely massive and there's the gate and the campsite the the camping field that we stayed in in the summer is just literally the other side of that building up there so there's this is our home for the next week how amazing i cannot believe it honestly i'll show you inside in a minute let's just take you into the back garden Look at this, it's absolutely stunning. So lovely. So this cottage is called Apple Loft. I love it, it's so beautiful. I hope you guys are all good on this late Sunday afternoon. Right, let's head indoors and we'll do a bit of a cottage tour 
let's do this. <laughs> Guys, we're inside the cottage, let's do this tour. So this is the living room. Look at these stone walls, absolutely fantastic. Lovely sofa, there's the front door where we just came in. TV, lovely log fire. So we've got the fire guard, we've got all the logs and the matches. I've never lit one of these before, I need Grant Doyle Burgers advice. So I'll be doing that later. There's Honey, just making herself comfy on her duvet. So there's the other sofa. Right, let's take you into the dining room. Look at this dining room, absolutely fantastic. We just need to food, some food to eat at the dining room table tonight. So there's the car, looking outside. How beautiful is this place? I cannot believe we are staying here. It's absolutely gorgeous. Right, let's, this is Holly's bedroom. How lovely is this? Absolutely beautiful. There's Gus. Gus, Just checking it out as well. Right, let's just check out the bathroom and I'll show you the kitchen. So here's the bathroom. Hi guys. Lovely, loving that. Here's the little kitchen, which is so beautiful. Hashtag tea for Frosty. And the ladies, uh, the owners have left us um, a couple of scones and some jam and cream, which is absolutely fantastic because we've got to go to the shops or find some shops that are open anyway. Right, let's, I'll take you upstairs. Oh look, there's Noodle. Right, so let's go up the stairs guys and I'll show you mine and Donna's bedroom because it is absolutely amazing. Look at this floor, I don't know if you can tell but this floor is so slopey. But have a look at this, it's stunning, I absolutely love it. Look at that, beautiful. Such a lovely little room. So lovely. And then you've got the view out of the um, top windows. I mustn't bang my head on these low beams. There we go. Stunning. And the little village of, uh, seaside village of Crackington Haven is just down that lane. It's about three miles. So I'm hoping to sort of run there tomorrow morning, but we'll, um, we'll see how I feel in the morning as I didn't bring my bike, unfortunately. But it's absolutely stunning, guys. I hope you like this cottage and that little cottage tour. Thank you so much for joining us today. Right, guys, oh, it's coming up to 10 p.m. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for joining me this morning out on the bike. And um, here in this lovely cottage in Cornwall, I hope you've all had a cracking weekend. Look after yourselves, stay safe out there. I will see you in here tomorrow night for the Frosty Cycling Crew Strava review, which I'm really looking forward to. And um, yeah, stay safe out there, look after yourselves. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye for now. I can't sing along to the songs like I